Yeah? Yeah. Okay, uh, all right, well, my number three is Pro Evolution Soccer 2014. That's uh, my number two. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Uh, so I've been kind of dying to talk about this for a little while. I've had the uh, review code. My reviews are, on, are up on videogamer.com, in fact, and I gave it nine. There's also a feature that's going to be going up next week, basically entitled Why Pez is Better Than FIFA, and it always has been. Um, slightly incendiary comment. Yeah. Slightly incendiary title, but it, it explained in, in, the, uh, in the text. But yeah, I think uh, I love 2013, obviously, as people who listen to this podcast will know, this is a, a real step up from that. Um, the new engine, the Fox engine, lends the game a kind of weight and fluidity that no football game for me has ever had before. Um, it's not 100% perfect. Occasionally, the game can feel a little sluggish, but I'd say 90% of that is you're playing it wrong. And I don't mean that in a rude or ignorant way. I do it. Everyone who's played Pro Evo has always done it, and probably the same on FIFA as well, but it, it's more, always been more present in Pro Evo and ISS before it. You get too over-eager to get the ball back, you get over-eager to get the ball to your strikers, you get over-eager to try and score, and you just start playing badly, you're not being patient, and then things start to go wrong, and you feel like the game's against you. It's always been the case. If you can then take a step back, take a breather, start playing again. It's exactly what happens to real football teams. They try and get it up to the front man too quickly. It's exactly the same. And then you watch them and they go, no, you need to play the way that they always play. That's 90% of how to fix it. 10%, I'd say, the new animation systems can occasionally be a little bit too sluggish. And I'll only know the full extent of that months down the line, as is always the case with the, with the football game. Having said all of that, imagine the Pez magic of olden days where, I mean... This is the point I make this in the feature. I don't want to spoil the feature, but I can remember a goal that I scored in ISS Pro, and that game came out, I think I was 13 years old when that game out. I can remember that goal. I can remember it clearly. It was by a Colombian guy. I can't remember his name, but he like dribbled around two people and slammed it in the bottom corner from the edge of the box. And I remember I was a fucking kid. I've got a list in my mind of goals that I scored on this game over the years. Provo 2 goals, Provo 5 goals. Uh amazing moment I can remember them like exactly as they happened I can't remember any goal that I've scored on FIFA because they're, they're always the same it's always like cut back slot in the bottom corner or through ball they're just the same I, I can remember scoring goals but I can't remember specific ones already in, in, in PES 2014 I've had like some amazing moments amazing moments where I've had to film them on my phone and send them to people amazing moments where I just felt like I needed to tell someone it is um, it's a special football game and I'm very excited that it exists uh, do you think it's better than 2013 then, obviously? Yeah, I do know. Yeah, I think 2013 was very, very good, but this does, like I said, this does feel like a step up. How about you? Uh, yeah, I mean, I haven't played it quite enough to be able to comment. I'll speak more about it next week, but I know that I'm, I mean, I'm slowly falling in love with it. Uh, right. Uh, I love the right stick system where you can sort of muscle off people when you're up close. That's uh, right, yeah. That really works. I mean, that really, that it ta- in football games especially, it really takes me time to take on new techniques like that. But I was using that from the outset and I was right. really, really like it. Because they are, everyone's just more, it's more sort of reined in. It's, it's a, it, you're, you're rarely given space when you're playing yeah. against the computer. Um, and I see what you mean when you said that it's really, it feels like it really is pushing the current generation of consoles to their absolute limit. Because, uh, there are, t- I mean, the, 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 some of the cutscenes uh, are stunning to behold, but the frame rate stutters and it yeah. can often sort of look like it's going to crash or something. <clears throat> yeah, and there's no rain in this year's version, no snow or anything like that, because I can imagine that's just too much. Oh, wow, shit, I didn't know that. Yeah, it came out uh, maybe two weeks ago or something. That there, was, there, were, there was no weather. Um, but I can understand why, because it does... It, it, it doesn't on the pitch, does it? It doesn't really feel like it's happening on the pitch. There's not yeah. like big frame rate drops or anything like that. But it does feel like this is next gen technology, kind of like yeah. Battlefield yeah. does in yeah. some ways. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, and there's also, you know, uh, as we've spoken about in the past, that this input delay and, and strange lag when you're trying to move players around in the uh, in the menus. Oh yeah, that's annoying. You use the D-pad, incidentally, if you're going to do that, because it will just jump between the players. Yeah. You can't because dragging them is just horrible. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the reworked corners and the—I mean, I scored a, a free kick the other day, and just there's nothing like it. Mm. Um, it's so much better than it was last year. And corners, which I, again we've said before, I don't think I ever scored off a corner in Pro Over 13, and no. I, I scored off one the other day again. And just it's an, it's tremendously exciting. As somebody who's not a fan of football, um, I always thought it was impressive when a football game engaged that well. And this has done it as good as last year's. And 
I'll speak more about it next week, but potentially, uh, potentially much more so. There was one more thing that I wanted to add. Every idea that I've had on the pitch in PES 2014, I've been able to do. And what I mean by that is I'll see a pass, like a ridiculous, maybe outside of the foot, flicked through ball pass over the top, behind the defence. Yeah, I managed to get that to work. A certain type of tackle, last ditch, sliding around the corner. The sliding tackles are beautiful in this game. They actually get the foot in and kind of drag it round. Uh, every idea that I've had on the pitch, I've been able to, to do with the controls. I'm not saying it's worked every time. Um, defenders have got in the way and whatnot, but just the idea it, it's allowed me to do. It's an amazing canvas for to create football moments. And um, I, I'm just really excited that Pez is back. It was back last year as well, but it's definitely back. And other people seem to be kind of getting on board. You know, it's not really about eating into FIFA. FIFA's going to do what it does. It's still really good. And uh, it is what it is. In the next gen version, I'm very excited to see it and play it. But it's just nice to have what is probably my favourite ever video game series, almost definitely, back to what it should be in banishing memories of shitty years all of this console generation i'm just glad to have my favorite game back really 